you guys this is madam 81 and i'm back with you again uh this article is by bicep and it's about carmen the rapper okay so if you haven't heard there is allegations going around that um by made by jaguar right that carmen uh violated her okay so the article reads well the title of the article says common breaks silence rap denies violating jaguar right thinks she may be going through some things okay and this is like really heartbreaking because i'm like whoa Uh, The article starts off by saying Common has broken his silence, addressing allegations that he violated Philly native singer Jaguar Wright. Wright sounded off on Instagram in August, alleging she was violated and put in an awful situation with famous colleagues like Common, Tali Kualib, and other members of The Roots. Okay. So I'm going to play this video uh, for anyone that um, this is sensitive to. I am giving you a warning. Um, viewer discretion is advised. I don't know what she's going to say, but I'm only going to play a couple of minutes of it. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. Ready for closing a car. Like, I, I don't know who you people are. How soft are you? I come from North Philly. I come from North Philly. I do my work. I do my own dirt. I don't need nobody to do my dirt. You need to stop sending dice to call and check up on my records that I'm recording with other people trying to scare people to not work with me. You need to stop doing that because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. My record stands. You need to run around you, and stop telling people that, oh, she crazy. Oh, we start working with her because she this. And we start working with her because she that. No, you stop working with her because she stopped wanting to fuck you. That's why. She stopped wanting to fuck with you. That's why. Don't make me get to talking on my pussy for real, for real. Because, see, I ain't never said shit. I ain't never said shit. But we, we can get it right. You, and maybe you need to sit down and talk with your wife, Mr. Trotter, about me and you. This me too shit. This fucking YouTube shit. This oh we're so sorry shit. Y'all y'all niggas y'all niggas better start running around explaining because I'm about to start telling my story. Unfortunately, all of you are tied to it. All of you are attached to it. This isn't me exposing y'all. This is me exposing me. Now if you get burned in the process, that's perfectly fine. Talib Kweli, you got some questions to answer too. Common, you got some questions to answer too. Jill Scott, you got some questions to answer too. All of this supposed to be Philly love. All this supposed to be Philly love. I don't see nobody posting for Malik. I don't see nobody posting for history. Razel, you know it to be true. You know it to be true. You know those niggas underpaid us. Oh, they 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 pay the famous people that they thought was going to blow them up to come. They paid them good money. But when it came to crew, crew got underpaid. Always. You got underpaid, Razel. How many times did a Kenny Muhammad get shitted on? Let's start keeping it real. Let's start keeping it real. The first person to post about it was Keith McPhee. Keith McPhee was a label guy that came yet. Why ain't there real, there ain't no real answers for nothing. And Sean G, I promise you, I promise you, if Malik B don't get his shine, I ain't letting nobody keep his. I will drag you all down if I need to, but nobody shines until Malik shines. Nobody gets to keep their shine until Malik shines. You hear me? That's all I care about. Y'all, y'all, y'all Philly? Y'all supposed to be Philadelphians? Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Do right by my bro. I promise you, if you don't, I will. I am going to because that's what is that's what drove me crazy. Y'all sitting there gaslighting. I've been watching y'all gaslight people. You're arsonist. You're arsonist with people's lives, yo. Y'all niggas is arsonist. I charge you with arson for gaslighting and burning people to death. Using women to hurt women. Niggas should be ashamed of yourselves. And you got daughters. Some of y'all got daughters. Things I've seen y'all do on tour buses to women. And niggas wonder why I hurried off and got to my own thing. Because I got sick and tired of sleeping on tour buses with chewing ass niggas doing all kinds of nasty things that I don't need to see. 
I, that's why I always took the bottom bunk, so all I had to see was ankles. Don't nobody want to wake up to the shit I had to wake up to? Waking up on a bus, seeing some strange bit all tossed up. Or you got to wake up in the morning, first thing in the morning. Goddamn porn all, all of the niggas eating porn. Hey, watch the cereal eating porn first thing in the morning. Fuck, there's a bunch of grown-ass men on a bus. Fuck y'all doing watching somebody else's dick for. And I said that shit to y'all. I said that shit to your faces, but I kept it cool. I kept it cool. I let you keep your dignity. I let you keep your pride. I've been letting y'all niggas make it for 20 years, and I'm going to tell you right now, it's over. It's over. The Neo Soul movement was a fucking lie. The whole thing was a lie. Which is what made it so easy for people like Alicia Keys to slide through on it and go platinum or work. I'm going to tell you the difference between me and every other Neo Soul chick in the game. I ain't never had no gimmick. I am my own gimmick. I'm me. Don't nobody ask questions why um all of a sudden Jill Scott uh, 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 went from a, a sexy and smart and nice and cool to uh, all I do is think about sex and, and, and sucking dick. That ain't that. She didn't become that. She always been that. Y'all want to know about her? Go back to North Philly. Go back and ask somebody from Girls High all the fucking traffic she had through fucking Central. Matter of fact, you can start with Sean G because she used to fuck with that nigga too. Maybe that's why her first problem, you know, the, with the Lizelle. I, I would, if I was Lizelle, I would have had a problem with the nigga that you used to fuck in high school handling your money. I would have had a problem with that too. I'm sorry, Lizelle. You were my friend too. I should have told you all the time she was fucking around on you. I was supposed to be your friend. I'm sorry. He loves me. Yeah, he loves you. Shame you ain't love him. I'm done. I'm done lying. All right. All right. So all of y'all need to know that I'm putting all of y'all on notice. I'm putting all of y'all on notice. I'm sorry, Flo Brown. If anybody knows Flo Brown, if anybody knows who Flo Brown is, I heard she was a teacher a few years back. Please tell her to find me. One of the best female MCs I ever worked with, and I should have protected her more, but I was so busy worrying about keeping my keeping my spot. You know what I mean? Worrying about holding it. Bryce Wilson told me best. He was like, I can't believe, I can't believe you riding with them niggas. You riding with them niggas, Jack? Bryce Wilson pulled up to my place at Fourth and Catherine in South Philly, held up traffic in the middle of Fourth Street with a Bentley screaming out my window, Jag, why won't you sign the contract? I got fifty thousand dollars for you, uh, over here. I said, yeah, I know you got that money. But these, these niggas, I got an opportunity to make my name. I'll take the lesser money because I got an opportunity to make my name, Bryce. Uh, and and, and I, I still have no regrets. I still have no, no, no regrets that I turned Groove Theory down. I don't. Because if I had been doing Groove Theory, I wouldn't have been able to do Black Lily. And we made history. We made history. I made history. They still won't give me my props all these years. All the money y'all niggas made off of me. After I had my son, I'm on, I'm on tour with y'all. Y'all paying me less than what I should have been getting paid. Y'all paying me $500 a gig rather than paying me the $2,500 that I should have been given for an appearance fee, what you gave Jill Scott. But see, you had to get that to Jill because you fucked Jill over when you got me. See, a lot of people don't know. Jill didn't know that she wasn't on the You Got Me record until it came on the radio when she heard Erica voice on it. See, that's, that's the real truth. See, Jill wrote the shit out of it. Her and Scott wrote the song. It was great. Jill was very excited. This was going to be her first single. I remember how disappointed she was. We used to be best friends. We used to be. She was very disappointed. I remember how many times I saw her. She was angry. She all them niggas. And she couldn't stand it. I can hate that bitch, that plagiarist. And I'm like, yo, don't hate her. It's the game. If you want to be mad at somebody, be mad at them. Hold them niggas accountable. Hold them accountable. But no, they always pit the women against each other. And we always fall for it and we get mad when they call us bitches but we act like we act like faithful dogs no they turn the women on each other they don't ever take responsibility for anything Shit. i'll never forget when i asked i asked rich why would y'all do that to jill he said it's gonna work out great for any and this is business he said look Erica's hot right now. Erica's got Grammys. You know what I mean? Everybody's loving Erica. We put Erica on the record to make sure that the record could win a Grammy. And it did win a Grammy. I mean, it worked. And which is why they gave Jill her promotional tour during the Roots tour. And that's why they did all of that. But Jill still hated Erica. I mean, in my opinion, the only reason they friends is because won't nobody else be friends with him in the game. 
Like, they, they done burned so many people. They ain't got no friends left. So, you know, that's usually what happens in a viper pit. They're left with each other. You know, so that's that. Me and Erica wasn't never friends. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's connection, but we wasn't never friends. And we ain't got to be friends. We got the same last name. I believe we're actually related in some way, shape, or form. She's a right, I'm a right. We both got ties to Tennessee. You know what I mean? So, I mean, we supposed to be, I mean, we could be kin. I don't know. I don't care. I got plenty of cousins I don't fucking like. Add her to the fucking um list. I, I don't give no fuck. I really don't. Uh, but Jill, me and Jill was best friends. We was best friends until I started getting phone calls and she was um she she was doing my sticks, like things that I did on stage in her shows. I actually Violet Brown called me from a warehouse music and said, I went to go see Jill at the at the, at the Hollywood Bowl tonight. She said, I saw the show, she said, Jag, I'm not gonna lie, I was disturbed. And I was like, Why? Why would you be disturbed? And she was like, Well, I couldn't tell where she ended and you began. She was doing you on stage. I mean, people always try to do me on stage. Truth hurts tried it. She tried it. Yeah. She tried it when we did the smoking grooves. One of the last smoking grooves. Outcast. I had to, I had to, you know what I mean? I, she went on first. I went on later. You know what I'm saying? So one day I came and shit, and uh, I just I just stood there. Because she got out there with the drink and with the cigarette, and I just stood and looked at her. I was like, you doing it wrong, boo. You lack aggression. It doesn't look honest. She stopped trying to do me. I'm no no disrespect to truth hurts, but you know you need to get your own shit. I'm telling that to all of you. You need to get your own shit. So let's keep it a bean. I done fell back for a long time. And I watched. That's all I've done. I've watched all of you. I've watched all of you make fools of yourself. Building your life on lies. Castles made out of sand on a beach. I'm the wave, nigga. The wave is coming. That sand castle, all them sand castles that y'all live in that you love so much. The wave is coming. I'm coming. I've had enough. I'm not telling no more lies. I'ma go crazy. I'ma go all the way crazy if I keep if I keep trying to keep all your lies. I can't keep your lies. I just can't. I can't. Me and Jill Scott stopped being best friends because I found out she was an insurgent. She was only in my life to learn from me, to gain from me. I was amused for her, and I thought I was her friend. She sat in the hospital. She held my son while they was kicking in my, my hospital room door, taking pictures of us, Jag and Jill, Jag and Jill. When your ass threw up and you didn't want Liza to know you was getting drunk in the house and fucking up the cop, and I'm the one that showed you that vinegar and water is how you get wine and throw up stains. I came and I cleaned your throw up out of your fucking carpet, bitch. You owe me. You owe me. You ain't even say shit to me when my son died. Fuck you. For real. Like, for real. I cleaned your throw up out of your car, out of your shit when you didn't want to go outside because you was too famous. I would go to the market for you. I would come over and cook so you could uh, uh, front your home cooked meals off to your husband. I was your friend. You were an insurgent. I'll never forget that day you came to me, Jill, and you asked me, why don't you just become a part of the roots? Why don't you just become a part of the band? You should be a part of the band. I'm not a part of the band. I'm fucking Jaguar. I came as Jaguar. I'm leaving as Jaguar. I didn't come here to stay. I came here to build my name. These niggas ain't giving me no money, but what they are is giving me airtime. And I know what to do with airtime. You go back. You look at who made OK Player popular. You go back. You look at who made all of this shit happen. They still mad because the first name mentioned after Jay-Z when it comes to Unplugged almost 20 years later is mine. How you gonna get mad? You called me up there to do the job and I did the job. I did what I do. It's the same show. I've been saying that for 25 years. Whether you put me on first, whether you put me on last, you gonna get the same show. <laughs> Question is, do you want to go before me? Do you want to go after me? That's up to you. Well, y'all heard that I couldn't post all of it, but what I will do is make a separate video and post the whole entire live. It's almost an hour long, so um, check that out. I mean, she goes in on them, as y'all can see. And to continue the article, it says, in regards to be rapper, write detailed and alleged situation, she says... She says he tried forcing uh, something that she did not want to do. I laid down with my clothes on. 
I'm a survivor of violation. Um, I know how to buy myself a little time. The next thing I know, I'm waking up in the morning and I feel something poking me in my face and and ish. She said, I opened my mouth and this ninja tried to stick his peen. Okay, I'm going to just let y'all read that because, you know. Yeah, like, she goes in, like, it's almost like an hour long. Um, Y'all can pause that and read that if y'all want to. But continuing with the article, it says, 48-year-old Common talked about Jaguar in a new interview with the Philadelphia's Rise and Grind Morning Show, a chat that will air in full on Friday. So stay tuned with that um, for that. This was the first time Carmen has ever addressed the allegations, something he said he struggled with hearing about at first. Um, His statement says, let me say this, God bless Jaguar. I really don't have any negative thoughts towards her. He said, I was for surely disappointed and hurt when she said what she said about me because it wasn't true. And I know people that experience um different type of assaults and that's not anything to just say it 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 if it's not true but i also just understand that she may be going through some things that i don't understand so in all truth i went through different emotions i was like oh man why is she saying this this is not true How's this going to affect me? Eventually, I got to the space where I'm saying, man, I'm sending her positive thoughts and prayers because obviously the things that she's saying, it just wasn't true. And she might not be in the great space, he said. Okay. Carmen doesn't discredit all of Wright's stories. However, in a final word, he encouraged all the allegations she made to be looked into separately it goes on to say as a society we gotta do better with how we look at things and if everybody says something we gotta really assess the situation before we jump on them he said i felt more compassion for those who've been through that and i said god bless her and prayers to her Because I never had nothing but positive things, excuse me, positive thoughts about Jaguar since we worked as musicians, okay? So, this is from Twitter, and this is what's going on. Oh, actually, it's already out, so you can go check that out. Rise and Grind, AM. And I'll definitely, i see if I can get the link in it, okay? So. So, what do y'all think about that? You know, uh, definitely she's been holding in some things. Um, definitely some things was not said or anything like that. Um, some things that's unresolved. To be, as a matter of fact, um, I mean, it's been 20 years, so I'm not sure what the ramifications of that is going to be. Um, they're talking about multi-million dollar successful artists and musicians that, you know, they have done countless of things, so... Let me know how y'all feel about this in the comments. Um, I'm just really, really totally shocked. And like I said, I will be going back and I will be um, putting the whole entire thing on my, uh, on my Witchcom. So, man, this is crazy. But, yeah, she goes off in here. Let me know what you guys think. Drop down in the comments. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And please don't forget to go check out my girls, Denia Ashore, on her channel. And also check out Goddess. And you can also get nailed by Goddess if you want to. And have your fingers looking all pretty and cute stuff, you know? Um, if you want to check that out, you can go to nocrabsinthebarrel.com. She has different flavors to savor. Until then, you guys, peace.